Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Hacker Tools. This week we will be looking at Kite Runner, a binary that can help you level up your API hacking skills. When facing endpoints, API endpoints, older tools for directory busting, they tend to be very ineffective. Because web servers just aren't uh, directory trees anymore, the more modern roots have taken over and wildly brute forcing names isn't really effective. So we need to be smarter and we need to scan based on popular API layouts. And Kite Runner can help us with that. So what is Kite Runner? Well, the creators, as at note, they felt like there was a need for a tool that can effectively brute force endpoints and routes in modern applications. Many modern frameworks such as Flask, Rails, Express, Django and so forth, they follow the paradigm of defining routes and th these routes expect certain headers, certain methods and so on. And with this knowledge, they created this tool that can brute force API, points, API endpoints faster and smarter. Now on top of that, they also did a lot of internet-wide searches for um, root names, for methods, for parameters and for headers that are commonly used by API endpoints. So we also have this nice list of compiled uh, possible endpoints that can be common that we can try to brute force. But what better way to learn about a new tool than to run it? So let's jump over to my Kali machine and let's run this tool. So as you can see, once you have the KR, the kite runner binary on your machine, what we want to do is we want to start a scan. So I'm going to type scan and now we have to supply the endpoint that we want to scan. For me, that's going to be localhost uh, because I have a, um, an API running on my local host. Obviously, in your case, this would be your target, your bug bounty target. And then I'm going to supply the dash capital A and this stands for asset node word list. And um, this is not a file that is in my current directory. However, I will show you in a second where you can find these word lists. In the meanwhile, however, we're just going to get this started, get this running. And we can see at the bottom that this is running. Okay, so let's go back up to the command here. Um, in this case, I ran it for a single host. However, you also have the opportunity to supply a file containing uh, lists of endpoints and hosts that you want to scan. And that's really great for if you have multiple targets that you want to scan. Um, you can also, for the word lists, supply multiple word lists by just putting a comma and then the name of the next word list. However, talking about these word lists, let's look at uh, how what this raft small words is, where it comes from and so on. So I'm quickly going to make that a bit smaller so we can just see uh, the progress here. And then here I'm going to get my KR binary and now instead of running scan I'm going to run word list. If I run that we will see that we can do word list list and word list save. So let's run word list list. And now we get this table um, that doesn't quite show. There we go, now it fully shows which has an alias, then the file name for a word list, then the source, so it can come from manual uh, compilation of endpoints or it can be an automated scan, then the count, the number of things that are in there, uh, the file size and whether or not it has been cached. And this is the cool thing, all of these word lists, they are not local on my machine, they, they aren't there, you don't have to download all of these, um, however I can still use them. I just need to supply this alias that we see on the left here and then asset note or kite runner rather will download this word list list and cache it for a bit so that if I run more scans that it doesn't need to download the word list every time. Uh, and that's a really cool way of doing it. Um, so that's how these word lists work and where you can select them from. And we can see that there are many many word lists here. We have subdomains, we have uh, DNS, uh, dot file names, HTML, we have API roots that are very big, uh, we then have ASP, um, directories, HTML, JavaScript, JSP, parameters, PHP, subdomains and so on. So all of these word lists are really great and we also have some other word lists here that have been compiled uh, that are very common. So yeah, this is al always a great place to start because if you have great word lists, then you're obviously, obviously going to have the ability to, to find a lot of endpoints. 
Um, so that's that for the word lists. But this kite runner can do way more. Uh, and let's look at everything it can do actually by just running kite runner. It will show us that it can also do a brute. And this brute is pretty much your usual brute forcing. Um, your usual directory busting. So kite runner can do that as well. However, you can also use these word lists um, that I just shown. So that's amazing. We can do that. You can also supply your own word lists with dash w. Uh, however, right now we're running a very simple scan. We can make our scan way more complicated. Um, so let's see all the options that we can set. So for example, we supplied a capital dash a which is an asset note word list, uh, but we can also uh, blacklist domains, we can uh, put delays between uh, requests, um, we can supply different headers, uh, we can uh, do a, a lot of things um, that, that are very amazing and it can help us a ton. In the meanwhile, our scan is still running. Um, so I'm going to forward this video a bit until our scan is done and we can check out the results. Okay, so our scan hasn't fully ended, however we have our first result. Now note that this sam sample uh, API that I'm running is very small, so it's, it was unlikely to find a lot. Um, however, we found this slash tokens endpoint. We see that we ran a get method on it and it returned 200. So uh, let's copy this address and let's do a curl on that just to show uh, what the result is and in this case the API returns users and passwords so that is really cool um, obviously very unlikely that the evil would find this but still uh, really cool now note that in this output we have um, this hash at the end here and now this is a hash of the result of, of what you got back um, so that's that's really useful because if you get a lot of endpoints back, you can quickly see, okay, these all returned the same message. Um, so that's one quick tip that I still wanted to throw in there. Now, that is it for Kite Runner. I would say definitely integrate this into your toolkit um, because this might help you find endpoints uh, on APIs that you didn't know about. And if you don't know about an endpoint, well, you can't find a vulnerability in it, can you? Um, but that was it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, if you liked it, like the video. Subscribe if you want to see more. Uh, if you have any other tools that you would really like us to cover, then comment them down below in the comments. I hope to see you next week. Take care.